Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Chloe. Mango wanted to be in the intro. <laughs> this video has taken me a little while to make, so I apologize that I haven't posted in a while. As you guys know, I love my coffee. I'm like a coffeeaholic. I love trying something new. I have to have at least a cup or two every day. One day I realized that whenever I wanna go to a cafe or go out to get a drink, I always just go to Starbucks. I mean, not that I don't love my Starbucks, but this is a huge city. There's a ton of cafes that I'm missing out on. So that's what sparked my interest for this video. I thought I would try as many as I can and take you guys along with me. I live in Halifax, Nova Scotia, as you guys know, and most of these cafes are gonna be in the south end of Halifax, like close to all the universities and stuff, just for reference. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy. I've had so much fun filming this video. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, and let's just get into it. All right, so this is the Bliss Caffeine Bar. I've never been here before, but it's always super busy and I love the vibe of this place. It's so bright and welcoming. I decided to get a caramel macchiato and this coconut cream donut. It was so good. You better believe this went on my Instagram story. This place is known for their creative pastries and they had a pretty wide selection of drinks as well. So I would say I'd give this place about a seven out of 10. All right, and welcome to Uncommon Grounds. I've been to this cafe many, many times. It's one of my favorites, so I had to include it in this video. They have a huge selection on their menu, and this place is literally true to its name because the cafe is actually underground. So today I got an iced chai. I've had this here many times, and I would definitely give this place a 9 out of 10. I love it so much. I found this cute little cafe just walking down the street one day. It's called Coffeeology Espresso, and they even have their own merch, which I thought was really, really cool. There wasn't a whole ton of options on the menu, but I decided to go with an iced latte because you can't go wrong with those. There's only a few tables inside, so I would say this is the perfect place to pop in, get your coffee to go. I love all of the plants and the artwork on the walls. It's such a nice little cafe, so I would give this a solid six out of 10. Frankie's Espresso Bar is literally a coffee shop on wheels. This definitely has to be the best way I've ever ordered a coffee, and they're 100% gluten-free and vegan, which is really nice. I decided to try an iced Americano with almond milk, and I have to say, this place has the best prices of all the cafes I've tried in this video. Frankie's is gonna be a 10 out of 10 for me. I think there should be more coffee trucks. Next up is called the Wired Monk. All their tables were full upstairs, so I had to go to their seating downstairs and I had the whole floor to myself, which was really nice. They had some pretty cool options on their menu, so I had to get a drink and dessert. This is a vanilla chai frappuccino, and then I got a piece of blueberry sour cream cake. When I went up to order, I wanted to try a matcha frappuccino, but they said they were all out of matcha, so I don't really have any complaints other than that. I like this place, but it's probably not one of my favorite cafes in Halifax, so I'm gonna have to give it a 7 out of 10. But the items that I did try, they were so, so, so good. Next up is Coburg Social. I feel like this is a university hotspot because it's super close to Dallin Kings and they have indoor and outdoor seating, which is really, really nice. I've been here lots before and I'm obsessed with their iced matchas, so I had to get one today. And they also have a really good iced matcha lemonade. You guys should totally give that a try. I give this place a solid eight out of 10. Welcome to the Daily Grind Cafe. This place has my heart. I've actually been on so many first dates at this cafe. <laughs> Today I got a cinnamon roll and I also tried a cappuccino, which I've never gotten here before. But yeah, I just love this place. It's right off of the boardwalk, super close to the water. I give this a 9 out of 10. This is my first time at the Glitter Bean Cafe, and first of all, I have to say, I love the name, I think it's so cute, and in their Instagram bio, it says it's Halifax's first queer-centered cafe, which is so awesome. I got an iced Americano, which was really, really good. It had a very refreshing taste to it, and then the barista came over to my table and asked if I wanted a free molasses cookie, and I was like, uh, yeah, I want a free cookie. So yeah, good service, good food, eight out of 10. 
Cabin Coffee has to be one of my favorite places I went to. I got an iced chai and a blueberry cranberry scone. They were so good. This place literally looks like a cabin inside. There's a ton of fun details everywhere you look. And I don't know, this place just had such a comforting feeling sitting in there and having a treat. You really have to see this place for yourself to see how cool it is, but I'm definitely going to be coming here all the time. I give this place a 10 out of 10. Next up is Steve Arino's Cappuccino. I didn't plan on stopping here, but I saw it on the side of the street one day and thought, wow, this place is so cute. I have to stop. It has a very earthy vibe. There's lots of plants. There's indoor and outdoor seating. It's a really nice place. Today I got an iced latte, it was so good, and they have a pretty wide selection on their menu as well, so I give this place a 7 out of 10. This is the Dilly Dally Cafe Bar. You literally just order your coffee from the sidewalk and you're good to go. It's so awesome. I've always wanted to try this place, but it's always super lined up, but today I finally got to. I got a carrot spice latte and it definitely gave me fall vibes. It was really, really good. I would give this place a 9 out of 10. It's definitely one of the most popular places in Halifax. Lastly is Cafe Lara. I didn't get a ton of footage of this place, but I got a cookie dough ball and an iced latte that were so good, 8 out of 10. Alright guys, and that concludes today's video. Those are all the cafes that I tried. Trust me, I wish I could have tried more. Okay, so final thoughts. It's really hard to pick one favorite, so I'm gonna pick my favorite cafe and then my favorite coffee. Or not coffee, but drink. Okay, I'm gonna have to say, cafe-wise, I really loved Cabin Coffee. I just think it's such a creative idea for a coffee shop, and I love the vibe in there. And then favorite coffee is gonna have to be a tie between Uncommon Grounds, because I love their iced chais, and Frankie's, because... I don't know, that Americano just hit different. It was so refreshing just getting my coffee outside on a hot day. So yeah, those are the best places to go in Halifax, folks. You heard it here first. Thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. I hope you're doing great, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!